So is Portland, Oregon turning into a community that businesses are fleeing en masse? Let's talk about it in today's video. Hi, I'm Mike Greiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. I'm also a lawyer and an academic, and I'm here to help you stand up to the BS of the mega crowd. So I was motivated to do this video thanks to my wife. My wife is a very open-minded person, and as a result, she makes an effort to see media from different sources. One of the sources she pays attention to is Fox News, just to kind of see what the other side is saying. The problem is that when Fox News reports on things, they do so without any kind of context. So there will be examples that they will cite that seem very compelling until you look at it within the context that exists. You know, there's that old saying, there are lies, damn lies, and statistics. And statistics can be reported in any way, certainly ways that will make things seem worse than they are if that's what you want, or better than they are if that's what you want. So I figured, since my wife is all worried about what's going on in Portland, I mean, after all, we were there a few years ago and really enjoyed our time there. It's a beautiful city and definitely very progressive to boot. But there's this image that you're getting on Fox News that all the businesses are fleeing the city because of the horrible crime and the homelessness there. Fox News reports that Cracker Barrel has left. And I got to tell you, I mean, I like Cracker Barrel, but they don't exactly seem like the kind of business that would fit in all that well in progressive Portland. Similarly, Walmart has also left. Another progressive standby. And that's coming from a guy who actually does shop at Walmart occasionally. So I'm not casting aspersions here, but it's important to note just how dynamic the U.S. economy is, where there are constantly new businesses opening up, other businesses closing, businesses are moving out, businesses are moving in. There's this constant dynamism within the American economy, which means that you'll always be able to find examples of businesses leaving a city in any city. And in each case, they will have a rationale for it. Cracker Barrel, for example, claims that the reason they're leaving is not because of crime or homelessness or anything like that, but purely because of the fact that they were hit very hard with the COVID pandemic and had to consolidate their operations. My wife also talked about Fox News videotaping people essentially stealing televisions from a Walmart in Portland. Well, as we know from a prior video I've done, Fox News is not above manufacturing videos to make a point. So it's worth taking whatever Walmart reports with a grain of salt. But that being said, I figured it was worth going straight to the horse's mouth to kind of figure out what's actually going on. First of all, office vacancy rates are rising nationwide. This is a national trend after the whole COVID pandemic where people want to be able to work virtually. And although there's a push by a lot of businesses to bring employees back, given the hot employment market, employees have some bargaining power and frequently they're using it to be able to work remotely. As a result, we're seeing high commercial vacancy rates in all major metropolitan areas across the country. So the fact that you're having a rising number of office vacancies in downtown Portland really shouldn't be surprising to anybody. It's just consistent with the national trend that we're seeing. So let's go to that left-wing rag, the National Association of Realtors. They obviously monitor the economy very closely and will give reports on how office vacancy rates are doing across the country because obviously it makes a difference for realtors, right? Well, as you can see here, since 2020, office vacancy rates have been rising consistently across the country. When you look at the recent data provided by the National Association of Realtors, that left-wing rag, of course, you can see that, yes, there is a relatively high vacancy rate in Portland, Oregon of 11.82%. But let's compare that to some other places, some centers of left-wing liberalism like Texas, where Houston, Texas has a substantially higher office vacancy rate. And San Antonio's is almost exactly the same, as is Nashville, Tennessee's, another state where Democrats are an endangered species. And Charlotte, North Carolina, from North Carolina, where Democrats are hard to find. And Charlotte is considered one of the hot, growing cities in the country. Atlanta has a higher vacancy rate, as does Washington and Phoenix. And up until recently, Arizona had a Republican governor, didn't it? What's more is when you look at the top 10 performers of 2022 and the bottom 10 performers of 2022, Portland doesn't even make the list. And it's not like Portland just isn't included in this data. I mean, right here is a comparison of pre-pandemic and post-pandemic office vacancy rates. 
And what we can see is Portland is listed here on the list as having poor performance. But that poor performance is not as bad as Denver or Seattle or Austin, Texas or Nashville, Tennessee, and is very close to Charlotte, North Carolina. So to say that somehow businesses are fleeing Portland en masse just doesn't comport with the data. Well, if you want to see the data for yourself, I've of course linked it all down below. But this just seems to indicate to me that sometimes you need to look a little bit deeper than the statistics and facts that Fox News is reporting. And again, it's easy to get drawn into the BS that you see on Fox News. Because of course you can find dramatic examples of businesses leaving cities everywhere in the country. It's something that happens a lot. The question is simply one of which ones are we going to highlight? Well, if you want to see another video where I talk about where Fox News has basically manufactured video to convince its viewers of its position, check out this video over here. This video is a blatant example of them trying to create fear and anxiety over the immigration issue. I'll see you then. In the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.